In this video, we're talking about sleep. Ladies, I'm a nutritionist and gut specialist. So in my clinic, I see a lot of women that are not sleeping really well. And that can be because of your hormones and because of your gut health. So if you are wondering how well you're sleeping and how much your hormones and your gut health are impacting your sleep, then get in touch because it's something that we can test. So here in this video, I'm going to give you a few of my favorite tips on how to sleep better. And I tell you from experience after having my second son, I'm a menopausal mum of two young boys, and uh, my second son really had me sleep deprived for three years. I was not in a good place. I was exhausted, wired, tired, desperate. I nearly was, you know, my, my marriage and my business nearly fell apart because I was so desperate and I was reaching for completely the wrong foods, eating lots of chocolate and toast. And it just, you know, my life is nearly falling apart. So I can sympathize and empathize if you're not sleeping well. So here's a few tips that you may be able to use to help you um, improve a good night's sleep. Now, firstly, you've got to think of sleep as a 24-hour cycle. So what you have for breakfast can really impact the way that you sleep. So think of it as a 24-hour cycle where we are producing um, cortisol and serotonin and melatonin at the right times. We want cortisol to keep us awake and alert when we're meant to be awake, but we want mel melatonin to kick in later in the afternoon and the early evening to help us be able to fall asleep really easily and stay asleep. Number one would definitely be keep gadgets and electronic devices out of your bedroom. I know it's probably very obvious to state this, but that blue light can really interrupt the sleep cycle. You can become very sensitive to light in the menopause, the perimenopause years, and anything like that can really um, stimulate you and keep you awake. I know I got very sensitive to any sort of sources of light. So make sure your bedroom is nice and dark, that you are cool enough and you're not being disrupted by any electronic devices in the room. Herbal teas can be great. Um, you know, the yogi tea, the bedtime tea, chamomile tea, they're all really good to de-stress and to relax the body. Um, having a shower or a warm bath before you go to bed, especially if you've got Epsom salts in there, um, some essential oils can be really good. And having cold water on your feet at the end of your bath or even walking in cold mossy um, or cold dewy grass can be really beneficial for grounding you at the end of the day. Now, make sure you are blocking out any sources of light. I know that we do become extra sensitive to light sources, especially in the perimenopause years and the menopause years. So making sure you have blackout curtains or blackout blinds. Um, even I got very sensitive to even the light on my diffuser. So I'd put a little black tape over that. Um, you know, focus on your diet. Uh, I've recorded other videos to, to tell you about some of the foods that are really good to, um, to have in your diet to support that uh, good balance of your blood sugars and that good production of serotonin and melatonin. Um, things like kiwi fruit, good sources of fat and protein, walnuts, they can all be very beneficial to your diet. Uh, now, Doing things like meditation or journaling or even EFT, tapping, tapping away any residual tension that you have in the day can be a really good way to manage your sleep. And I love essential oils. So I love, um, I use vetiver, Roman chamomile and lavender. Now, lavender is proven to be a precursor to serotonin and serotonin is a necessary chemical component of production of melatonin, which is the hormone that helps us sleep. So um, if you're really struggling with sleeping, please reach out to me. I've got the best essential oils on the planet. Um, they are absolutely amazing, but I love vetiver, Roman chamomile and lavender together. And I rub them on, I rub like I make up a rollerball, rub it on my throat, the back of my neck, my wrist, my pulse points, and a back down the back of my spine, and also on the bottoms of my feet. Now, also speak to me about the supplements that can help. 
um, ingredients like the supplements like 5-HTP, magnesium glycinate, um, even CBD oil can be really beneficial. So speak to me if you'd like me to review your current supplements and, uh, and, and source for you the best supplements um, available. So again, think of, think of your sleep as a 24-hour sleep cycle. Think about how you can um, change your habits earlier in the day to make sure you've got those neurotransmitters necessary to produce melatonin. Now, if you would like to have those neurotransmitters and your hormones tested, then reach out to me because we can arrange a, a Dutch test which, which measures all your hormones, your sex hormones, your stress hormones, and your sleep hormones. Um, and that can be really good to get to the root cause of why you're not sleeping. Um, and then we'll know exactly what we need to tweak to get you sleeping well. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and press the notification button so you keep in touch when I'm recording other videos. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.